What would you like? I want to try everything. Do you maybe want to try not opening with one minute and 45 seconds of previously ons and logos? Huh? Do ya? Do ya maybe want to try that? Because when you do it this way, ba da ba ba ba, I'm sending it. Thoughts? Well, confusion firstly, because last we saw them, Loki had been convenienced at high speed into Mobius, and now out of nowhere, we're in tuxes in London in the 70s. And I only enjoy one of those three things. Also, in case you confused it with London Asgard. It's too safe. Okay. It's not a war zone, it's not an apocalypse. Tell me you know nothing about 1970s London without actually telling me you know nothing about 1970s London. We got a hit on a 10 pad that belonged to Hunter X5 before it went dark. His information Mobius is apparently only sharing with Loki now. This means that Loki was told to wear a tux and walk through this time door and presumably did so without a single clarifying question. Yeah, that totally seems on brand. Are the Bridget Bardot rumors true? Ooh, Ron, Ron, you cannot ask me about that. Not realizing that asking the questions you're not supposed to ask is the M.O. of every tabloid journalist ever. Also, tabloid journalism. Will there be a Zaniac 2? Speculating about a sequel before the initial movie has even left the theater. Everyone on the internet, stop it. Uh, you know, a sequel for the fans? For the fans? Probably not. For bucket loads of profit based on name recognition? Most definitely. Oh my god, it's Pat Wolf. Can I get your autograph? Anything for a hey, hey. Sure is handy that Mobius and Loki decided to travel separately from B-15 and that she decided to wait in this alley for X-5. Surprise appearances that don't make sense are fun. Yeah, hold it! Loki does still have powers and stuff, right? Why is he letting Mobius do all the literal legwork instead of God of Mischiefing a trap for- <laughs> Damn it, Loki, that is so not what I meant and you know it. Also, I'm not the suit jacket being unbuttoned in this scene. You still glad we're here? I mean, not really. I actually wanted a season two for Moon Knight. They had a lady hippo god, people. Is Loki really giving chase on foot? What is he doing? Getting his steps in? Playing with his food? Time's of the essence here, so why isn't he just surrounding Brad with 20 naked Lokis? What? Don't act like that wouldn't stop you too. Also, does Brad really think he's going to outrun a god? I mean, he kind of does for a while, but he shouldn't have assumed that. Waiting until you're cornered to teleport away. And even then, only teleporting a few blocks instead of changing cities, countries, planets, timelines, or TV shows. What is this? That's a tempad. I'm pretty certain the writers didn't anticipate me associating the term tempad with some sort of emergency short-term feminine hygiene product. But here we are, and you're welcome. But he will talk once he's had time to marinate. Making me marinate on the idea that I thought I'd been marinating my meat when I've actually been marinating it with a marinade so that it can marinate. And the knowledge that I'm not going to remember any of that the next time I use either of these words. What about this? Have OB check it out. Suddenly OB is everyone's first option for troubleshooting, so why wasn't this the case last season? Where the f*** was he? You've been robbing us of Kihue Kwan as if he hadn't been cast yet. Everything you need to know about this I wrote about it in here. Okay, but that's the manual for the OG tempad, right? How is that manual going to help with a modified doodad? Renslayer killed C-20, attempted to kill Mobius, threw me in time jail, and tried to take over the TVA. Previously on, last time obviously lazy recaps position. Casey, tell them what you just told me. Putting aside the fact that I don't remember who Casey even is, why didn't B-15 just relay his message? It's not like he says anything complicated. Or did you just want to make sure he'd be here to say something important about the tempad? X-5 says it somehow blocks TVA tracking. That's not what it does. As I suspected, thank the writers for making sure a tempad nerd was here to help. But I have to wonder how much time Loki and Mobius would have wasted fiddling with this thing before asking for help. Did they really think OB was the only tempad whiz at the TVA? Thank you. Wait, why is Loki taking the tempad? Why isn't he leaving it with live action Rutherford to work on it? This holding cell is huge. You can fit like 50 people in here. And I hate that I think that's actually normal for a prison. It's you. You're the problem. It's him. Hi. He's the problem, Loki. Stop trying to be a hero, man. Is the god who successfully manipulated almost every member of the Avengers actually getting pissy about some guy named Brad? Is that what I'm watching right now? Mm. It's really good. Mobius and Loki have key timeline pie for this. Wait. Tried to use the Mind Stone on Tony Stark. I didn't work. So I threw him off the building. Sometimes our emotions get the better of us. Comparing slapping a man who's insulting you to throwing a man off a building for trying to prevent you from subjugating an entire planet. X5, you know, obviously, touch a no, right? Continuing to call someone by a name they hate. Sure, he may have picked Brad, but it's still his choice. Well, come on, you're the god of mischief. Yeah, but he's also the god of changing into a horse and getting knocked up by a stallion. 
but nobody ever talks about that bit. We're definitely getting desperate. And I'll be honest with you, we're down to our last option. Wait, does that mean you only had three options to begin with? Because so far we've seen two attempts, Mobius asking nicely and Loki asking as threateningly as an English accent will allow. How are we now at the last option? Need I say it again? Loki has magic powers. So guess what? I wrote a little script of my own. Thing Edward Norton said while filming The Incredible Hulk somehow makes it into the episode. Oh well. Good on Marvel for not letting anything go to waste. Mobius, get in here! Why don't you just let him in yourself, Brad? There's nothing stopping you from opening the door and calling Loki's bluff. False tension attempt is dumb. Why is this scarier than anything Loki could summon with his mind powers? Isn't the beauty of his abilities that he could put Brad through any number of hideous scenarios without physically hurting him? I may need to reassess my definition of the word beauty. Just tell me where Sylvie is, Brad. Making Loki the protagonist of your TV show has always been strange given his problematic past, but I'm glad we're finally addressing that by watching him torture a man. Why are you so hard on yourself, Brad? That's actually not his fault. The script needed him to make it hard so we could temp pad the runtime to 40 minutes. See? A little bit of mischief. I mean, as good as your plan. Mobius comes in and immediately gives away that he was in on Loki's plan all along, which lets Brad know he wasn't in any real danger. However, Brad ignores this and just continues to cooperate as if they hadn't just undermined their advantage for no reason. You're Ouroboros? Did Hunter B-15 not explain who she was taking you to on the way down here? That's either a sin for her for not explaining or a sin on you for not paying attention. And since I have no idea which, I'll just have to send both possibilities and risk creating a branch in the sacred sin line. Will you sign mine for me? Of course I will. Happy to do it. Yeah, just next to your picture. Next to his picture? But we just saw him say, You're Ouroboros? As if he had no idea who he was looking at. Was the picture taken from behind? So we have to convince a rogue artificial intelligence to come back to work? Casey would be predictive at 2043 sins. It took me about four seconds of research to discover that Marvel actually worked with McDonald's to recreate this 1980s era restaurant. So instead of trying to fish out any nitpicky inconsistencies, here's a sin for McDonald's bankrolling a god that tried to murder a bunch of people in 2012. Does no one remember that time he ripped an eyeball out of an innocent man's head? Even blurred, I can see that this fountain soda machine has three options for Sprite, which is f***ing disgusting. Those buttons should be filled with high C Fanta and Diet Coke. Protocol dictates I assign one sin for each Sprite nozzle. Show makes me realize that this would have been the perfect f***ing time to bust out that Taylor Swift anti-hero gag instead of blowing it on Brad's setup earlier. Damn it, Brad. My break's in five minutes. Wow. Good thing Loki and Mobius teleported there exactly five minutes before Sylvie's break. Can you imagine how awkward it would have been if they'd arrived after she'd had her break or wasn't working at all? So you see the future now. Cool. When you've literally been to the end of time itself, you don't get to be skeptical about something as minute as seeing the future. That should be like the most normal thing Loki has done up to this point. You like it here? You like this place? That's McDonald'sist. I mean, fair, but still. And now here we are. Enjoying a meal like gentlemen. Well, you're enjoying a meal, but Brad only has a shake. For both of you to be enjoying a meal, he technically needs to have food as well. He could at least buy the guy some fries or nuggies. It's not scary, it's elevated thriller, all right? Using the phrase elevated thriller. You're just gonna give everyone free will and walk away? Well, it's better than taking their swimming pool ladder away and then giving them free will. <laughs> Rest in peace, my Sims. Rest in peace. You're gonna bomb every branch. Yeah, including this one. For a second there, I was so immersed in the world that I assumed Docs was declaring war specifically on McDonald's and destroying them one branch at a time. And the fact that I didn't immediately question that means some sort of shark has jumped one too many product placements. Docs wasn't looking for Sylvie. She's gonna prune all the new branches. She already is. So to recap, the information that Mobius and Loki went through all of that trouble to discover is information that would have been revealed had they just stayed at the TVA and waited. Excellent. Glad I was here for the ride. 10 out of 10. They've pruned 30% of the branches. Show wants me to allocate my precious give a f**ks to 30% of something it hasn't bothered to show me. That's how they're bombing all the timelines at once. They're all connected to that central control panel. She said with the confidence of someone who's examined this setup for much longer than the three seconds she's been here. Also, they aren't bombing them all at once, right? This graphic shows that they're gradually being picked off in succession. If the point of the machine is to destroy all the branches simultaneously, then which f**kwit jumped the gun and blew up a branch that triggered the TVA? You should wait until all the bombs were planted and then you're golden. I should not be better at destroying universes than Docs. I'll distract them. Okay, now that the fate of billions of lives are at stake, I'm sure Loki will start using his powers instead of... <laughs> In the name of the All-Father, damn it, Loki, you're not Captain America. This is not why we love Loki. Don't overthink it. Overthink what? The fact that this machinery go bye-bye dusting should have been the power move you opened with? Mobius, you should come back. You better come back and take a look at this cliche. 
portals that know exactly how long to stay open depending on the drama of the moment. I'm going home. If it's still there. Shouldn't your Timpad tell you if it's still there when you try to connect to your home? Like, is there a chance she just walks into f***ing oblivion? Oh, that's the thing that I totally remember that does the thing that I should be excited by. Yes, it was in the previously on, but you didn't tell me what it was or where it came from, damn it. Episode does not contain a Goo Goo and Botha Ra. We should look for him in the ball pit at McDonald's. A little over the top, don't you think, all the shadow play? I'm Ozzy Osbourne, and I'm the Prince of Darkness. Do you have any idea what kind of life you might have left behind? Oh, why didn't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Kiwi? Kiwi? You said it was a key lime pie. Uh, no, I didn't. I said kiwi lime. That's what makes it so special. That's what's gonna kill me. I wrote a little script of my own. It's called Get Up. You're Ouroboros? Yes. I love how you program subroutines. It's breathtaking. Oh, it feels so good to say it. You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? Oh, man, they get the metric system. They don't know what the f a quarter pounder is. Enjoying a meal like gentlemen. Nothing beats two cheeseburgers with secret sauce. 